Hello and welcome to Tyres Tech. Today I'm having a look at Manjaro 16.0164 bit. It's an uh, arch based distribution. Uh, uses XFC, I think. Yeah, XFC is the desktop environment. This is the first time I've actually ever loaded up Manjaro, so this is really a genuine. I haven't got a clue what to expect, first impressions. So. We're running it in a live, on a live CD, well USB. So let's see how we go. So starting off, I think this might be the whisker menu there. Let me just let's have a look. There we go. So if I can get onto items, yep. Yeah, so that's the whisker menu. And just sort of your yeah, traditional XFCE panel okay all right it's just finalize the file manager bulk rename hp device manager apparently okay Libre Office Suite, Steam comes pre installed. So does GIMP. So you get Pigeon, Firefox, Hex Chat, and Thunderbird. I think this is using the new mix icons. I could be wrong though. So multimedia, I've never heard of that music player to be honest with you. VLC, okay. Uh, nothing out in the ordinary there. Okay. So you got G parted software. Oh, H top. Let's have a look at H top. So oh, nice and transparent as well. So H tops. Indicating it's using 507 meg out of 2 gig. This is a virtual machine. CPU utilization is very low, but then that's what you should expect from an XFCE desktop. I'll keep that open. So I'm going to open a few programs and just see how it handles things. Alright. I'll leave that open as well. Web browser will be Firefox. I like the theme. That's a nice dark theme. Alright, we'll leave that down there as well. And we'll open one more thing. Let's open GIMP. Everything's loading up nice and quickly. No stutter anywhere at all. And we've now, we're still just sitting under a gig. And we've got LibreOffice, GIMP. Firefox which has got two tabs open at the moment Let's just load up the blog see how it renders that page just fetching all the posts it's taking a little while there we go so what are we at now right we're now over a gig we're at 1.10 right so your file manager which is FNAR 
1.6.11 okay so if we go into the graphical settings for XFCE we'll have a look at what we've got so it's using vertex maya icons are no they wasn't what I thought they were Manjaro's vector graphics icon theme okay well it all looks very nice let's have a look uh, let's try this one Uh, that's not really changed anything. There we go. Let's see this one. Right, I think we'll leave it on the what was it? Vert. It was this one, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, what sort of desks? What backgrounds do we get? desktop settings okay I like actually this default one I quite like that it's like a material sort of look so it doesn't come with a lot so let me just stick with that one okay so down bottom right you've got your clock calendar update manager we're on a live session we won't bother with that volume internet now what's this? Okay, clipboard and then virtual desktops. Well, workspace switches. And then that's to minimize everything to the desktop. Like so. There we go. Okay. Right, what we'll do is we'll actually install this and we can have a look at the installation process as well I quite like this I'm tempted to actually put it I've just got one of them um, little gigabyte bricks things this might be a better suited than um, I've got Ubuntu mate on there at the moment but it seems a bit hungry for my little box okay let's close that close that and that and that and that right now install manjaro linux this is a virtual box I'm just kind of a bit sort of play around with it a bit before i decide to install it on my little box um okay right so it has us as default on here so we'll go for that and we want um We'll go for the default there, and we'll just erase the entire disk and let it set up its own swap partition. Login automatically as it's a virtual machine, and I should use the same password so I don't have to remember two different passwords. Next. Um, yeah, that looks about fine to me. What I'll do is I'll skip this part. Well, I won't skip it, I'll just speed it up. I just wanted to show you the installation process as well. All of Manjaro is a customizable to exactly how you want, from the theming to the very kernel itself. I'm very surprised how quick it all runs in a virtual environment on a live USB. That's very, very good. But then what would you expect from an XFCE based desktop? Oh, we didn't look at the um, software. The package manager quickly do that while it's doing that should be okay all right 
So let's think of virtual box. Let's just do that. Virtual box. Okay. And then, yep, yeah, set so into install. We'll just do that. Obviously, as it's not on Ubuntu or Debian based, you won't have your you won't have sudo apt um, da, 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 da. just gonna show you that it won't work. See? Okay. I'm not familiar enough with Arch, so I don't actually know off the top of my head what the commands would be. I'm gonna close that. Okay, I'm uh, we will skip the rest. Okay, we're back, and the installation process was really straightforward, nice and quick, took about 10 minutes, but your duration may vary. Overall, my first impression that it's really good, really rock solid, and I'm going to um, I'm going to install it natively and, and proper, put it through its paces. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.